Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have two farmhouse DIYs for you. So let's get started. DIY number one. Here are the supplies that you'll need. You'll need some type of paint. I'm using Waverly chalk paint and fern. You also need one of those family signs. You can find that at Dollar Tree and you also need some scrapbook paper and i got that at hobby lobby and you also need a sign and those are two signs that i had glued together previously i was going to use another diy i never got a chance to do them and they have the kickstand on the back already okay the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our sign and we're going to give it a complete coat of paint and I gave my sign one complete coat. And I'm only going to paint the front for now, but later I'll go back and paint the back. And now I'm going to take this, the jute twine and the staples out of the sign. And I'm going to give that one coat of my paint. And right here, I'm going to take my scrapbook paper and I'm going to use um, a jot glue stick that I got from Dollar Tree to glue the paper on. And those are my original plans. I have no idea why I painted that sign. I think maybe I was watching TV or something and just got into it and just painted the sign. But it wasn't really necessary. Um, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine. So if you do this DIY, you don't have to paint your sign if you're going to use the scrapbook paper. And right here, all I'm doing is taking my, um, my utility knife and I'm going to cut the edges around the signs, cut the scrap paper and, um, so I can have a nice clean cut on the edges. And I'm just using my fingertips to um, make sure that it's adhered. The glue and the scrap of paper is adhered to the sign. I'm just rubbing it with my fingertips. And I'm going to concentrate on the edges of the sign. And I'll be adding um, a little more of the glue stick to make sure that it's secured. Okay, now, now that I'm through massaging the sign, well, what you want to do next is take your family sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you don't just have to use the word family. You can find those signs also come in thankful, grateful, blessed, family, welcome. You can choose either one of those signs that you like and use one of those. I just chose the word family. And right here, I'm just uh, making sure that the glue has dried before I glue the word. And I'm going to use some hot glue to do that with. But of course, you can use um, some tacky glue or E6000 or super glue. Or you could even use some wood glue. But I chose to use the hot glue um, because... I think that should be sufficient enough. I think it'll hold with just using the hot glue. I 
Okay, now right here all I have is a greenery pick that I got from um, Dollar General, and that pick was only a dollar. And I also have some green burlap, burlap ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree carries that burlap, burlap, <laughs> burlap ribbon all the time, and it comes in, um, I think three or four different colors: blue, green, pink, um, ivory, if I'm not mistaken. So what I'm gonna do is just cut my pick down, the green pick down, in individual um, pieces and put it together to make a little miniature swag. And I just chose to do this to my sign, but of course you don't just have to do this. Um, you can leave yours as is if that's what you like because I'm here for to inspire you. This is just inspiration. You want to do your sign and you want to make it your own. So if you want to add greenery, you can. And if you don't want to, you just don't have to. And it still will be a beautiful sign. And I'm going to wrap some jute twine in the middle of the swag just to hold it together and have something to apply the glue to to attach it to the sign. And I'm gonna take that ribbon and just make, um, just cut a piece and fold it in half and um, glue the edges together and just pinch it in the middle. Well, you'll see in a minute, in a minute, I'll just pinch it together to make a simple bow and just tie some jute twine around the middle and attach it. And I wanna take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. You know that deep from my heart, you are so, so appreciated and if you're new just stopping by hi hello and welcome and if you like anything in my videos please give me a big thumbs up hit the notification bell and don't forget to click that all button um, so you'll be notified when I upload a video and and don't forget to subscribe yes and thank you guys so so much again And I must say that I have a lot of new subscribers and welcome new subbies. Welcome to the family. I'm so happy to have you guys. I deeply appreciate you and I hope that I can inspire you with at least one thing in each one of my videos. I hope that it can get you into the creating mode so you can get started. And again, welcome and thank you. And all I'm doing is using a little hot glue, just a little dab of hot glue, as you can see here, to attach the ribbon to make it one piece. And I was going to debate on whether or not to do a tail on the bow, but then I thought about it'll be hanging too far over, so I just um, decided to just put the little simple bow. So right here, I'm just pinching it in the middle, as I said. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, y'all. And just wrap some jute twine around it, and I'll just hot glue it in the middle of the swag. And I also want to mention that my sign has those, um, I call them kickstands, <clears throat> little kickstands on the back. Um, so they can stand up, but if you, you have a sign um, that doesn't have that, you can use some um, 
Jenga blocks are tumbling tower blocks and just hot glue them to the bottom base at the back of your sign. And that should help them to stay and help your sign to stay in. Or you can just put a um, jute twine hook on the back to, you know, as a hanger. And I looked at it and looked at it and I was like, wait, something's missing. It needs a little something else. So what I did was I decided to um, put a flower in the middle of the bow. And I took one of those foam flowers from Dollar Tree that came out like around Valentine's Day, I want to say. Um, and I just hot glued that in the middle of the bow. And it took me a few minutes to decide if I really wanted to put that flower there. That's what I was doing when I was just holding it there. But there it is. I think it came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment, guys, and let me know what you think. Okay, DIY number two. Here are the supplies you need. You need a, um, I have a piece of scrap wood right here. And I think it's like eight, an uh, eight by five piece of wood, some antique, Waverly antique wax, and I got these two um, signs from Metal Signs or whatever they're called. I got those from Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree has those all the time. And I also have some scrap wood, and I have those bigger pieces or. 20 by 1 inch and the smaller ones are I think big or 6 by 1 inch and what you want to do is take your um, antique wax and just stain all of your wood pieces and I just brushed it on with a um, foam brush and just wipe it off with a paper towel Okay, now everything has been stained, and now it's time to put our project together. And I'm gonna use some of that Fix All Glue by, um, from Dollar Tree. Yeah. And what you wanna do next is just take all your tags and remove the jute twine from your signs. And I already had taken the jute twine off of one of them. And right here, I'm just aligning everything up, just seeing how I'm going to attach it with the glue. And I'm going to take my... Um, marker and just um, draw some lines so I can see where exactly where to place the glue on the wood because if I don't do that yeah it, everything will probably be crooked so I had to do that so I can see where I wanted my glue to go and of course 
where I had to put them back in place like I had them where I wanted them to go. And I'm just using some hot glue uh, for video purpose so I can keep working. And that hot glue is going to um, set immediately and that fix all is going to take um, maybe an hour or two. Okay, now y'all, I had these stickers and I got these rubber on stickers from Dollar Tree. And right here I have three because I, I really wasn't exactly sure which ones I wanted to use. But I know I wanted to put something on the sign. So I had contemplated and decided that I wanted to put the words welcome home on the sign. So I used those rubber on stickers as you can see here. And I cut them out and placed them on there. And I scraped and scraped and scraped until I thought that they were on the sign, and they were. But in a minute, you'll see what happened. Yeah, wait for it, wait for it. You'll see, just wait for it. Now it's time to peel it off. And bam, all of the wax came off. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because it was the wax that I used. I don't, I don't really know what happened, but yeah, it came off. I think it was because it was the wax that I used. I don't know if it, maybe if it would have just been like, um, acrylic paint or chalk paint, that wouldn't have happened. I'm not sure. It may have happened, but I didn't get discouraged. No, I did not. I went to my Cricut and I cut out the words welcome home on oh, my cricket i went into design space and designed those words and i um i took the um you know i cut it to size and i weeded it and everything and i put the transfer tape on it and i put it on my sign yes i did and the same thing happened. Yes, the antique wax came off again. And I'm at the point where, you know, right, right about now I'm like, okay, I need to go back and cut another piece of wood, but I just really didn't feel like doing that because I was gonna have to go outside and, um, get my saw and cut it so I opt out and I took my um, paint marker that I found at Dollar Tree and I just wrote the words um, welcome home yeah that's what I did and I took some greenery and little greenery picks from that bunch that I've got from Dollar Tree and I made a little simple shoestring bow out of some um gingham ribbon and some jute twine and I just hot glued it to the sign. And right here I'm just measuring it up to see where I want to hot glue um place the glue to attach it to the sign and I'm just using my pencil to mark so I can put it back in the same place and put the glue I don't know where to put exactly where to put the glue on the sign. And I know in the beginning I said those yeah i'm gonna use that wood glue i got that from dollar tree wood glue and hot glue in the beginning y'all i said metal signs from dollar tree um and that's because i couldn't think of the word the word galvanized right then and at that time but yeah those are galvanized signs yeah dollar tree has those all the time and i think i've had those a little while um and i only bought three i think i used one before but yeah I'm going to go back. I'm going to be on the hunt for some more because I like those things. And 
And if you guys haven't figured it out yet, we are making a washboard. Yes, my grandmother had a washboard, um, but hers was larger than that. So I decided that that's what I wanted, a washboard, and I'm going to put that on my fireplace. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? It came out so, so cute. I'm in love with this. I love this project, y'all. And I hope you guys try. I really do hope you guys um, do this project. And right here, I have two scrap pieces of wood. Um, and I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. And y'all, guess what? I am not going to distress it. Because y'all know I'll distress in a minute. I'm going to leave it just as is. And I'm just holding it here for a few minutes until that glue adheres. And it's not hard to make. It's, it really isn't hard to make. Um, if anybody decides to recreate it, let me know. Leave a comment and let me know that you're going to do it. And then send me a picture of it. And there it is, y'all. Look how cute. Oh, it's so, so cute. Out of all the DIYs that I have done, all the projects, this one is my favorite. Yes, it is. And there they are. There's the family sign. And there's the washboard. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. And if there's anything in this video that you like, please give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to become a part of my YouTube family. You won't regret it, I guarantee it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and click all. Drop down, click all, so you'll be notified. See y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.